a Boomer Alley video. Like a lot of boomers, I've been thinking about teaching as a way of sharing some of the knowledge I've gained over the years. No, not how to make a really great mojito. College students know how to do that. No, I got a call from the local university asking me if I wanted to teach script writing for a semester. I'd be filling in for somebody who was going on sabbatical. Now, in show business, when someone is going on sabbatical, it usually means they're going to rehab. So I figured this would be a piece of cake. I'd be filling in for some professorial booze hound. You know, it'd be like if Otis the Town Drunk had tenure. I figured I'd just go into the classroom and dazzle him with a few funny stories about my days in network television. Maybe give him a few tricks in the trade, like uh, stealing someone's idea isn't really stealing if you call it an homage. Hmm? And I could find out whether I really like teaching any more than I liked going to school. Well, as it turns out, my attitude may have gotten me off on the wrong foot. Turns out that in academia, going on sabbatical doesn't mean you're going to go play badminton at the Betty Ford Center. Turns out you're going to be doing academia stuff. I knew I was in trouble the moment I stepped into the classroom. So, how many of you are uh, fans of the Golden Girls or Laverne and Shirley? No TV fans. Not good. I was counting on a classroom full of students like me. You know, underachievers who had spent their entire youth glued to the boob tube. Worshipping at the altar of shows like you know, Knight Rider. You know, not the uh, new homage Knight Rider that NBC is coming out with in the fall. The original one. Okay, well, uh, what TV shows do you like? Yeah, we're not really interested in the whole bourgeoisie sellout for cash instead of art world of television. Uh, I mean, except for MTV's Pimp My Ride, but that's about the art of pimping your ride, man. We want to be filmmakers. That's why we came here to take this class from Pidlowski. Who? Pidlowski. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that in your world of mindless pappy neglected to learn about one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. Hey. I worked on quality shows like The Golden Girls. Yeah, and The Sinbad Show, Platypus Man, and something called Blansky's Beauties. Damn you, Google. Okay, maybe I haven't heard of this guy who I'm filling in for, Pedlosky, and maybe I'm in denial, but I figure if I haven't heard of him, maybe he's not as big a deal as these kids think he is. I figured I gotta find out some more. So I went home and did a quick online search of some of the filmmakers who I've heard of to see what they think of this Pedlosky guy. Well, he was a great teacher, and it was my inspiration all the time. For, for my mind, he is the single greatest storyteller, all right, in the history of cinema. Suddenly, I'm not in denial anymore. I'm in deep doo-doo. It turns out the university may have replaced a true artist with a hack. I'm not sure what I should do. I'd like to drop the course, but it turns out you can't do that when you're teaching it. I'm going to have to figure out something, because I feel like... Well, I kind of feel like Laverne and Shirley felt when they thought they were too stupid to go to night school. That was a good episode. At least that's what I think. Let me know what you think. I'm Mark at BoomerAlley.com. It's Boomer Alley, love.